Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whenever you're gonna hear this, a special, special, special Trinity. Yours truly, coffee with yours truly, dragon. Independent philosopher, independent geopolitical analyst and theorist, independent artist, independent athlete, independent advocate for world peace, independent student, scholar, forever student. Some many things I don't know. Not perfect. Far from it. Do not play it self righteous. Got some issues. Got some vices. The privileges of civilization on the menu. I'm gonna put this coffee because it's left over for on the back end. We are back in business, back life. First coffee with yours, truly dragon of this 2022. First and foremost, gonna say my gratitude that I am thankful, grateful that my rent is fully paid, fully paid my rent for the month of January. Fully also paid the electricity bill and fully paid for this cup of coffee. And thank you to the government of Quebec, Prime Minister Legault, to sending some hundreds of dollars, which I appreciate. You know, take nothing for granted. Take nothing for granted. Gratitude and thankfulness on the carpe diem every day since I said that I died during COVID. And in many ways, I did die as I'm being reborn as your story, Adrian Hanna, dragon androgynous, pansexual founder of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Kingdom, which I'm founding first and foremost with 718 trains of kisses. <sniffs> trains of kisses that got credited from the goddess. If I can do redemption, redemption, second chances, maybe first and foremost is with those kisses from the Forgotten Goddess as a universal spiritual teaching student. If I. This is the last video that I make, let's say, I'm going to say the word G-O-D-D-E-S-S. When they say God, I got a God. Say. But anyway, I can be non-sectarian and I am non-sectarian, non-dogmatic. In all approaches, I am non-sectarian, non-dogmatic, non open for business, triple vaccinated. Please, please, please increase in hygiene in public. Wash your hands with soap and water disinfected. I actually got a great gift, a new hand sanitizer and disinfected from my anonymous sister whom if I make a me, I'm gonna give her half. If I make a B, I'm gonna give her half. If I make a tree, I'm gonna give her half. And you're still an independent philosopher, independent artist, independent geopolitical analyst and theorist, independent universal spiritual teaching student who applies non-dogmatic, non-sectarian, applies in all matters of principles. I firmly believe with all the imperfections that I do have, with all the flaws that I do have of temperament, of character, I have been through hell and back. I do firmly believe. Been depressed and suicidal. I'm, I've conquered depression. I've conquered depression. I've conquered depression. Working out, training, and exercising has been, is, and will continue to be my medicine and therapy of choice. I strongly encourage, advise all to work out, train, to exercise. And of course, it is my medicine and therapy of choice. And maybe later today, after 4 p.m., we're going to rock and roll for the first workout of. 2023 with the dragon later on a few hours later after i send some emails because i have missed the deadline i set out to send 300 emails to these 300 independent pri pme pms as they're called in quebec la belle province and 300 and i my deadline was last friday for 2022 so now i want to do the deadline by this friday to send all the emails so i still got about a good two three pages to 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 send the emails to for my project, my philosophic, artistic, athletic, and sometimes humorous and comedy, which is important that we use some comedy, some humor, and some sense of humor, some comedy sometimes. So for my French Canadian, as I am a Quebecer, Canadian, North American, world, rainbow, dragon, a universal heart, many past lives, many incarnation right here, a Quebecer, Canadian, North American, for the complex of north american civilization thank you grateful for this cup of coffee the privileges of civilization or the privilege of civilization is what we have on the menu as a topic of discussion has been my concord and my writings and usb keys and everything that i share in the public sphere on the internet of course are based your studios an independent philosopher geopolitical analyst and theorist and advocate for world peace and student scholar of civilizations wars and geopolitics and independent historian and then the people's doctor since earned my doctorate in many many years of suffering and suffering and suffering and struggle with one foot on the streets one foot in the libraries read tens of thousands of books also written tens of thousands of pages of philosophy, poetry, and art, philosophy, poetry, and art, philosophy, poetry, and art. And of course, I'm sharing now the privilege of civilization. I'm going to be civilized, be grateful that I'm going to be able to afford to make the sweet new year. I've ended the 
year 2022 opening this jar of honey which i was thankful i'm grateful that i've been able to purchase it is local quebec honey from the city of Watton, 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 w-o-t-t-o-n in quebec and of course the bees mother nature the greatest scientist and artist is mother nature the greatest scientist and artist and of course the labor in the hands of those who know the trade and know how to do the honey 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 where hath civilization began that is a topic of discussion for many a many a many of historians whether it was ancient egypt ancient china ancient india ancient sumeria sumeria is where babylon was predates some say sumeria or if western civilization of course which in western civilization books include sumeria babylon and ancient egypt and of course from the bible we have the stories of ancient israel which of course the paradox of the children of israel which is going to be another lecture maybe in february or the paradox of, of Israel, or the, the, the Jewish civilization, Jewish civilization on Jewish civilization, and which is going to be the future lectures. If anyone you want to commission early lecture, please feel free, blah, 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 to commission sponsor an early lecture on your three independent alley philosopher artist on Jewish civilization and continuing civilization. So yours truly is going to put some honey thank you government of quebec who sent those hundreds of dollars i appreciated it in my financial situation i am financially struggling i am broke but i got kisses by the train from the goddess some brain and some muscle and some brain and some muscle is required for us to build maintain or upgrade civilization so many things i don't know but do know that i am grateful for this honey which i'm able to put now i was able to afford due to the gratitude of the quebec government which of course was also due to us being able to do that to, to tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions who worked in the past decades for us to have a what we call a social safety net, a social safety net, a social safety net, which has arisen, of course, with the in the early 1900s as a social democratic value, as a matter of values for what we call the welfare state in philosophy, in sociology, and in, of course, politics and finance. Now, you will excuse me, but there's a little bit of a drop of honey on the side and i want to be no way so you're gonna see this civilized philosopher civilized poet civilized artist civilized universal spiritual teaching student civilized activist and civilized of course activist and civilized geopolitical analyst and theories go a little bit primitive by licking this jar so if anybody in the future 2023 is gonna Try to dig some dirty, yeah, I get dirty, but I get back clean, royal regal loft, you don't have to. It's pretty much an open book. I don't remember things about my childhood, adolescence, early uh, adulthood. I remember mostly the past seven, eight, nine, ten years of everything that I wrote in journals about my life, from mostly about civilization, nature, politics, and everything that I've written, and my philosophies, my theories, which I do firmly believe in their implementation in this 21st century. So, there we go. I, I've just licked a jar of honey. privileges privileges of civilization privileges of civilization or the privilege of civilization what is civilization how do we define civilization well some historians agree on common denominators so civilization would be or where civilization has arisen some say ancient Sumeria ancient Egypt ancient Babylon ancient India ancient China well I am open that they might have arisen ancient Chinese civilization, ancient Indian civilization, ancient Egyptian civilization, and ancient Babylonian 
Sumerian civilization because Sumeria became Babylon. Sumeria predates the Babylonian Empire, the Babylonian Kingdom, and so on. Where has it arisen? We have myths and legends, of course, of, of uh, giving laws from the gods and the goddess, and also the goddesses, of course, the goddesses right there has and still some civilizations and cultures have the word goddess and I say the word goddess G O D D E S S is perhaps something that doesn't come easy on some certain languages I'm not going to go into a spiritual lecture the spiritual lectures of the goddess will come in parallel to this one trinity part of called the privilege of civilization so privilege is something something that is also has to be defined what is a privilege privilege is something that is not necessarily it can, it can be, so this is an open discussion, it can be earned by merit, by talent, but it can also be something inherited, right? Something which we haven't really worked for, we haven't really struggled to achieve. Like take myself, for example, I'm going to give my example. I got a surname, Dragon, right? I don't know, I've been on my own for many, many years and God, which I say, my anonymous sister who's been my family for many, many years, and I always say and have been for years that all my willingly loving allies and armies, pledge your allegiance, legions are de facto my family to support the dream which manifests as the dancing goddess and the dragon kingdom for world peace. The, I dream manifesting as the dancing goddess and the dragon kingdom for world peace. And yours truly, Adrian Hanna Dragon. It's not without fault, not without issues. I've been depressed, been suicidal, I've conquered depression, I've conquered prayer. I have still the lower parts of myself, the, the moody, I analyze on the daily, I'm improving daily, and of course, social media. But again, working out, training, and exercising has been, is, and will continue to be my medicine and therapy of choice. And of course, I urge all my brothers and sisters to channel and sublimate. Those are two key words of my philosophies, whether psychological philosophy, whether spiritual philosophy, and everything sublimate and channel everything whether it's sexuality lust sexual impulses or of course whether it is violence and aggression to channel towards understanding by doing action so i work out feel moody feel angry I invest in the body do 100 push-ups try to do my workout which i've created which is the perfect system which requires no equipment and in which is designed created made and designed to go hand in hand with a world war three scenario Paradoxically, you heard that right, I got proof of work and as a world peace advocate, paradoxically as a geopolitical analyst and theories back in 2019, of course, have made and created and produced this workout of which I have completed successfully September 29, 2022 of last year now, 300 sessions of it. And of course, 300 sessions of that workout which have completed were completed after, of course, during COVID, and I've started before COVID, October 2019, and now I'm doing special workouts, a lot of boxing. But nonetheless, I take myself what it's a privilege, but then it can be a privilege which can be earned by merit, but not necessarily. It could also be inherited or just given, right? It could be wealth, it could be status, it could be rank, like the historical aristocracies. In my case, I take my privilege, which is which was earned, Merited by me working out, training, and exercising, and successfully completing 300 sessions of my own created workout training program, which I'm proud to have created, which is effective, efficient, and simple. I have been, am, and will continue to advocate for the mass financing thereof of my workout across universities, even, of course, in high school, high school even younger, maybe, high school's grade before uh, fourth fifth sixth grade even to try to do my workout as a long life of a workout which requires no equipment and which has a perfection to it that increases general overall fitness my workout so my own privilege is now i can say my surname and i'm in the process of going to change my name officially dragon right my surname born dragon d-r-a-g-a-n but through blood, sweat, and tears and my own efforts of working out, training, and exercising have, of course, turned, earned to say my A, the A of my surname, has now become an O. I said, only when, if I complete successfully 300 sessions. I said, hey, if I'm going to die, whatever, X, Y, Z, things happen, may I be avenged 93-fold, 11-fold times, 77. I said, may I be avenged 77 fold? I said, 93 times. I said, may I be avenged 11 fold, 93 times. I said, I don't turn the other cheek. I like to say, I owe nobody nothing. Uh, not the Pope, or the, my, the Pope. My Pope is the Son, and blah, blah, blah. 
freedom is a double-edged sword and civilization has its privileges and we have the privilege of civilization which I'm gonna concord and discuss now from an intellectual academic and of course philosophic philosophic nature so in my case say I'm turned that into a surname through merit through car through talent through merit through efforts through blood sweat and tears performing doing those workout training programs and of course doing the 300 workout which I've created which is officially called the general war integrated total body training system aka the dragon army workout of which as an independent athlete and activist and artist have been successfully completed and I have proof of work as I have hundreds of workout videos of my own workout training program which I've created made and designed to go hand in hand with a world war three scenario back in October 2019 when I have sounded the alarm back then I've said humanity we are again on a path towards another international conflagration when I have concluded based on my geopolitical analysis and theory of which I am great super and excellent I am mediocre at some things I admit it I am average at some things I do admit it I do say truthfully that at some things I am so so while admitting that I'm so so average and mediocre at some things I'm also complimenting that I am super excellent and great at geopolitical analysis able to concord and analyze ge deep geopolitical events and ge geopolitical matters and theorize and of course speculate in a theoretical more of course than speculate is of course prognosticating based on intellect and universal knowledge or wisdom and understanding and knowledge of ha of habits or cultures of civilization or of the financial matters of the trade matters of the historical events and based on those aforementioned factors of different civilizations and different geopolitical regions and different nation states back in 2019 I've sounded the alarm and I've said humanity we are again on a path towards an international conflagration and so made and created and produced the general War integrated tour body training system aka the dragon army workout to go hand in hand with such an event such a scenario some say some geopolitical analysts say World War Three began with the Russia, Ukraine, Ukraine, Russia crisis, uh, which is ongoing, or it could begin with the China Taiwan crisis, which Taiwan is officially called the Republic of China, while China mainland, what we refer to as mainland China, is officially called the People's Republic of China. Now, if you want, will blah blah blah, a deep philosophical analysis with complex dimensions which is nuanced and balanced from the right from the left and from the center around the about squared circle I am open for business you can finance a lecture deep with sophistications which you have to leave your baggage at the door sometimes to analyze the whole dimensions and the whole complexities of that potential conflict or the conflict which still exists or it's not resolved between what we call the Republic of China, which is Taiwan, and the People's Republic of China, which we refer to as mainland China, and so on and so forth. If you want, you can finance, commission, on sponsor a coffee with dragon just on that particular subject or any particular subject in the world, whether it be a twerking, I'm practicing twerking for 2023, that is my resolution. I've gotten a little bit of a big booty myself with all the squats that I've been doing and although I got a little tiny clit dick now that we got that out of the way we can proceed to more the privilege of civilization which we do have brothers and sisters we have the privilege of civilization I have the privilege of civilization you have the privilege of civilization we have together the privilege of civilization and in the privilege of civilization there privileges of civilization so what is a privilege? A privilege can be inherited, merited, or inherited, right? It's something, or a title, like in the back, you know, aristocracies. So in my case, it was by merit, by effort, by talent. Being able to do all those workouts, to say my surname is now Dragon, turning the A of my surname into an O. As the motto of the Dragon Army, which I'm calling the creation to be integrated with all existing public and private partnerships in a public-private partnership in a PPP with all existing institutions and organizations of course institutions and organizations locally Quebec coast to coast Canada coast to coast 
North America throughout the complex North American civilization to encourage people to work out, train, exercise, and to be of service and security based on my philosophies and theories for the 21st century. The Dragon Army, which of course the motto is, nobody is born a dragon. You become one. Not even myself with a surname named Dragon to blood, sweat, and tears and push-ups and hawks and squats and marching steps to turn that A of my surname into an O. So that is a privilege of to turn that A into an O. And Dragon, because the motto of the Dragon Army is nobody is born a dragon, you become one. And if you're able to do my workout within the rules, so the rules are simple, effective, and efficient, you got 93 minutes. That's an hour and a half. Plus three minutes, 93, 93 minutes, an hour and a half. It'll be more than an hour and a half to do a hundred push-ups, a hundred squats, a hundred hocks. Holy sacred divine trinity of the workout. Push-ups, hocks, squats. Once you start the countdown, there's no pause, there's no stop. You got to keep it in motion, continue marching or jogging or running or walking fast pace until you complete 100 push-ups, 100 hocks and 100 squats. You got to do a maximum of 13 repetitions per set. That is the rule. So it's four main rules. The 93 minutes, the 13 repetitions maximum per set, three minimum. So anywhere in between those numbers go hand in hand together. 13 and 3, or you can do 7, 8, 9, 10 until you get to 100. And you got to do 100 for each. Once you start the countdown, there's no pause, no stop. Start the countdown, you got to keep marching or jogging or walking fast pace or even running. You can alternate between running, jogging. So those are the four main rules. Within those four rules, there's a multiplicity of combinations when and what you can do and how you can do it. A multiplicity of combinations. You can do it, you're a potential dragon. Till you get to 300, there you're dragon one as I become dragon zero. Dragon one, and dragon the second dragon and so on and so forth. As I am now Dragon Zero, I've become Dragon Zero. September 29, 2022, when I've officially done 300 of this same workout, which I have proof of work sessions, which you can see doing me performing them. Simple, effective, efficient workout increases general overall fitness and continues to. You can do hundreds of this workout and you will, you will reach an apex of development at one point, probably maybe until you do a thousand, you'll reach your potential or 500, depending on XYZ factors of nutrition and body. But even after 300 sessions, when I do it, I still feel it. I still feel the muscle and the soreness. So it constantly works out, trains, exercise, maybe until you do more than a thousand and you'll still improve. Push-ups, effective. Squats, effective. Lower body, upper body. And the hocks, the lower, lower extremities. The ankle, the toes, the feet, and of course the lateral and the neck. So the whole body is exercise, plus we integrate the cardio. That's why its official name is the General War Integrated Whole Body Training System, aka the Dragon Army Workout. I've been calling for universities to adopt it, for schools across North America to adopt it, for security forces to adopt it, for Army, Canadian Armed Forces to adopt it, for U.S. Armed Forces, NATO Armed Forces to adopt it. And blah, blah, blah. So the privilege of civilization. Now to get to the topic, because I digress. The privilege of civilization. The privileges of civilization or the privilege of civilization. A privilege is something that's either merited or inherited or, of course, not merited or not inherited. It's... It's just is a factor of the society or the elements of being born into X, Y, Z, whatever factors. But this is a, a privilege of civilization because civilization, because a human civilization has common denominators. So a civilization has to have some common denominators. You have to have some set of laws, rules and regulations and form of government. You see, the first, I'm going to go back in time in history, the first city-states right, to a city-state, a kingdom, an empire, an empire, a kingdom, or a city-state, which was an empire or a kingdom or whatever it was back in ancient Sumeria, ancient Babylon, or back in ancient China, or back in ancient India, or whatever it was, back in ancient Egypt, was it the first with the city of the pyramids? I mean, that was the first city with the pyramids. We speculate were about built about 5,000 years ago or so, 4,500, they're dated. Uh, three main pyramids, but they predate the building of pyramids. But I'm speaking about the three big ones: the pyramid, city of the pyramids near Cairo, the city of Giza, or in, uh, Giza Plateau, the 
the Trinity here, the Holy Sacred Divine Trinity there, which is, of course, I was there in a past life, and in a past life and in incarnation, I was there in a past life, and in another incarnation. And right here from Hawk Island, Montreal, a big metropolis city, right, part of civilization, part of what I call, and I've lectured this course before, part of the complex North American civilization, the collective North American civilization, or the complex of North American civilization, the collective North American civilization, which is right here from Quebec, Canada, North America, Montreal, Canada, and North America, since we have factors of a geopolitical nature and of uh, the realities of the democracy and reality of, of course, the systems and the rea historical realities, and not only that, the human factor, but the natural or geographic factor that in North America we have to the east, that way we have the Atlantic, and to the west we have the Pacific. And the Pacific, and we have the Atlantic, one coast to coast. So we have one border, two oceans, two oceans. It's a unique part of this continent of North America. There's a unique factors that here in North America we have this unique geosphere, a geospherical or geographical reality, which we are surrounded by two oceans, that way, West is the Pacific, and that way is East is the Atlantic. To the East is the Atlantic, to the West is the Pacific. And my whole policy is for the collective North American civilization, or what I call the complex North American civilization, or the North American civilizational complex, is that by my Trinity of theories to create the two complementary covenant and cooperative institutions, the public and the private partnership institutions of the International Citizen Integrated Social Security and Service Force, aka the Dragon Army with the International Integrated Dance League, aka the Dancing Goddess Army, to be for pleasure and purpose and based on my philosophies, such as my philosophy that the body is a temple for pleasure and purpose. And how do we invest in the body? How do I invest in the body? By working out, by training, and by exercising. That is my investment in the body. And that's why I recommend, suggest, and encourage, strongly encourage. And if I would be a millionaire, billionaire, whatever, I would mass finance it. That's why I'm calling all corporations, all institutions, government institutions, coast to coast, brothers and sisters, athletes of the NHL, National Hockey League, NBA, National Basketball Association, NFL, National Football League, NBA, to also give to women's sports, because, of course, my sisters on North America, let's face it, there's not one league that even makes close financially, economically, commercially to what the aforementioned NFL National Football League, NBA National Basketball Association, NHL National Hockey League, or MLB make. Economically, financially, commercially, not even close. There's not even close to it in terms of finance, economics, and commerce, what they make so we can do better 2023. And please, 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 multi-millionaire, billionaire, finance, food security. That is a privilege of civilization, food security. And that's the first one that I'm going to commence. And I'm asking now if you make a million on the stock market, you got less than three hours now to trade it. It's 1.42 p.m. here, Black Rock, Black, Black Rock, Black Rock, Mr. Fing, Mr. Fing, Mr. Fing. Down in Wall Street was one of the biggest financial institutions of the whole complex of North American civilization of the world in terms of AUMs, assets under management, right? I don't have assets, but kisses. I got assets. I have big ass, big... I got kisses. Kisses, hugs, rub some brain and some muscle with that. I can dance, 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 philosophize. I can clean, I can cook, I can tickle, I can kiss. Kisses, I got the most kisses to give. That I can say proudly. If I got something from the goddess, G-O-D-D-S-S, forgotten, but who still dances with her brother's son as my Pope the King now rises and now sets somewhere in the world. Weather now covering coast to coast. Although it's gray here, there's clouds. Nemesis sets clouding the shrub blue sky of my L-O-R-D. Hawk, hawk, hawk. And of course, coast to coast. The sun is shining now. The sun is shining. The sun is shining somewhere in the world. And hopefully, somebody's hugging now. With consent, my main message is hug like you never hugged before today. Because if somebody's not making LOV today, what is the point of saving civilization, I ask you? Fight, we got ICBM rockets, intercontinental ballistic missiles, which were built from 1947 
1989, for more than 42 years, ICBM rockets, intercontinental ballistic missiles were, of course, built by the former Soviet Union, the USSR, which Russia is the one who has them in possession. All the rockets and all the nuclear warheads, which were built during the Cold War by the Soviet Union, the USSR. No other country which split from the Soviet Union has ICBM rockets or nuclear warheads. Russia has them all. And USA here built, we built, right? Silos. I watched the other day a movie, a short 31 minute movie from 80, 1980 or 1982, something like that, or 83, about Canada. How an ICBM rocket from Russia, that time it wasn't Russia, it was Soviet Union, for USSR can strike all the way to Saskatchewan. And they were showing the nuclear silos in Canada, film made for Canadians, uh, showing the big city of Regina. It was Regina, and it was uh, in Manitoba, Regina. It was Calgary. It was another city, uh, Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Winnipeg. The prairies. It was concerning the prairies, a potential nuclear strike on the prairies. Uh, our city close down south, because we got a border with the United States. I was an American twice in past lives. I served in the U.S. Army in the past lives 156 years ago, 718 miles south of Hawk Island, have served in the U.S. Army. And so, of course, I'm a Quebecer, Canadian, North American. But nonetheless, concerning those ICBM rockets, that's why I say today, carpe diem, hug like you never hugged before. What's the game of hockey today? It's going to play Habs. My Habs go, Habs, Habs go. 20 minutes a period of hockey, 15 minutes a quarter of football gives yourselves a hug, 15 minute hug. That will be a new sport. Adrian Hanna, Dragons Androgynous, Pansexuals, founder of the Dancing Goddess in the Dragon Kingdom. World Peace Sports. We hug, we dance, we kiss and we tickle. And we work out, do push-ups, hugs and hygiene with hygiene and consent. With hygiene and consent, with hygiene and consent. And we thank the farmers, and I'm going to thank the farmers. Thank you, farmers. Thank you, farmers. Thank you, farmers. Farmers who harvested this for me to have the privilege of having this honey. And it was used with money. What is money fundamentally? It is a means to buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. I am calling, of course, for the UE to be created across the complex North American civilization and beyond, across NATO member countries, and hopefully for world peace across member countries of the Bank of International Settlements, of the World Bank, of the IMF, of the International Monetary Fund. By the implementation of one of my theories, the DRT, the debt refusion theory, which I firmly believe can save the world. As paradoxical as it sounds here, I'm here in a financial crisis myself with $10,000 in, in debt to the RBC. But I'm also a philosopher and I've written and read tens of thousands of books and pages and still learning education every day in a parallel life. I'm a super scientist, a hybrid, hybrid, hybrid of Elon Musk, Bill Gates, my astrological Scorpio brother, and Mark Zuckerberg. And to that trinity, I had a little bit of Crowley, Alistair poetry, where super computers, satellites, ICBM rockets, and microchips is all I know. <laughs> in this life, I know some philosophy, some theory, some comedy, some poetry, and I firmly believe in my theories and my philosophies and their implementation. I'm grateful for today. My rent's paid. January 3rd, first cup of coffee of the... I got privilege. Go online. I've got this privilege not only of this honey and this coffee, because I am not a coffee farmer. Right? So food security. Food, that's a privilege. How many farm? How, how, how much farming have you done? I said before none, but it's not true. I've done, I have experience in the past years. In the past seven years, I've did a few times urban farming. So the small lots, small plots where I've planted the seeds, did everything that it is done in a farming environment, but smaller lots. So basically urban farming is farming, growing crops, vegetables, tomatoes, legumes, right? But at a small level, at a more micro level than the big farming, which we have. And of course, farming and food, that's a propelled civilization and population growth, right? Exponential population growth after the Second World War. Food, food is holy, sacred, and divine. And all the motto of the Dancing Goddess Army is, the DGA, that all food, all the fruits, all the vegetables, all the legumes, and all the grain, 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 I made, created, and produced initially 
by the dance of the goddess with her brother the sun. All of them, without exception, but with the black, black, black fertile earth and the water and the sun rays of the sun shedding light. That dance, which is continuous because the sun now rises somewhere in the world and the sun always rises and always sets somewhere in the world, right? So that dance creates, makes and produces all the grains, all the fruits, all the vegetables that our brothers and sisters farmers harvest for us to make, upgrade and maintain civilization. So kiss the hands, give big hugs to all the farmers from Quebec, La Belle Province. This is from Quebec, right? The coffee is from, I don't know the provenance origin of the coffee. Could be from Brazil, could be from Cuba, could be from Costa Rica, could be from Colombia, could be also from Africa, from Uganda, could be from Ethiopia, could also be from Zambia, could also be from Vietnam, from Asia. So it could be from Asia, from Africa, or from Latin America. I know it was created, made, and produced by the dance from the Black Fertile Earth. The dance of the goddess. You don't have to say goddess. It's okay. You don't have to say goddess. You can be secular. You can be an atheist. On principles, we can work together. I can work together on just principles. As I am a pro-labor, universal, revolutionary, centrist, philosopher, geopolitics, and theorist. Student, scholar of history. And the people's athlete. Cheers the farmers and the truckers and the truckers and the butchers and the bakers and the bakers and the butchers and the butchers and the bakers now and all in the hospitals, the cleaning workers and those who picked up the garbage yesterday, Monday, somebody picked the garbage in my neighborhood in Hawkeye, Montreal. As they pass by, when I work out, usually I say I do some push-ups, right? then I saluted them, I say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you even now live stream on Facebook, thank you those Collect the garbage, the compost, and the recycling, the workers. Thank you. Appreciate That's a privilege also. And these are interconnected, integrated privileges, plural, multiple privileges, under the umbrella, the privilege of civilization, which has interconnected, integrated privileges within the privilege of civilization. Civilization, what is it? Well, it has to have some fundamentals, some laws. Whether the first civilization was in ancient Egypt, with the goddess, laws of the goddess, right? In ancient India, ancient Egypt, I'm not going to say where it was first. I would say that maybe they kind of arose at the same parallel time from what we know historically, from what we know, right? Because they all pretty much dated to about more or less first city-states, city-state empire, city-state kingdoms about 5,000 years ago from what we know. From what we know from the Bible, how much is myths put together and allegories and mysticism and history mixed into together. That's not the topic of today, but it's another topic of, of, of discussion. Betty, I think we got some mail. I think so, you, we got some mail. Okay. That's a privilege. Thank you. To the post worker. Thank you to the post worker. Thank you to the post worker who dropped whatever it is. Right? Thank you, whatever it is. And an envelope, newspaper, news. Thank you. Just thanks. I appreciate it. Appreciation, gratitude. Thanks. Cup of coffee. Hmm? Yeah? Yes. For me? Yes. So we got these oh, privileges. Got mail. Oh, yeah? So the privileges of civilization or the privilege of civilization coming under an umbrella. Multi connected, integrated privileges. Oh yeah? But I guess a little bit is better than nothing, right? Hey, that's good. I'm gonna come get mine, just give me a second. Give me. Oh, 
Revenue Québec, Québec Revenue, Québec Revenue, Québec Revenue. I'm sending some love. Je vous envoie de l'amour aussi. On les postes où vous êtes à travers la belle province, the Québec province, I'll give you, also offer you some big hugs. And we got also this privilege, although I can be critical of certain bureaucracies, and too much bureaucracy sometimes I just like to do with vigor and enthusiasm and pleasure, 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 and bureaucracy, which I'm sometimes not that good at. I miss deadlines and late, 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 and miss deadlines and X, Y, Z, and Although I've been deep in intellect and wisdom and sophistication, as I am lecturing now, I'm going to open, see what kind of privilege I have. Or I'm being given the privilege, of, or I'm asked to give back my privilege. <laughs> it can happen. Sometimes you're asked to pay back economic, financial, commercially, finance, money, 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 money. But it's money and universal exchange in it. Oh yeah, but because I have a debt, they, they're taking half. They're taking half for my debt, remember? Yeah, we you have to check. So here it is. It's in French. I'm sending them some love anyways. Because there's still a privilege. I can complain. I can say, ah, and I've been, you know, but then you have to take action, propose solutions. Because it's with solutions that we got to focus. What is for me some solutions? Working out, training and exercising. One of my solutions to channel the aggression, to channel the violence, the moodiness. It's such an investment for the body. I always feel so much better after a sweat. I like seeing people hug. I like couples seeing them when I march for World Peace, for my meditation marches. I love seeing people holding hands. It's, it's love. In whatever shape or form love comes, I want to be loved and love. And that is also part of, got to love nature and civilization, which I do both. I love satellites. Shh. Satellites. I love satellites. I love satellites. I love the internet. I love the internet. I love, I love my smartphone. I love my sister. I love my willingly loving allies and armies. Whoever thou art, pledge your allegiance. Legions, thou art de facto family. So what does this say? Initially, I was supposed to get from the taxes $77.00. And 25 cents back on the fifth so today is the third Tuesday Tuesday today so it would have been Thursday so in two days get a deposit however because I have a debt towards the government of about one one thousand nine hundred from something I'm not gonna go into but nonetheless it was two thousand two hundred and now I paid already three hundred and so now it's less but they're taking half I explained the situation, this was it, it is what it is, but I'm open for business, I'm still open to the government of Quebec, too. I'm still appreciating, and I say thank you government of Quebec and farmers of Quebec, so I love La Belle Province, it's, this is my home, has been my home, this Hawk Island metropolis, Montreal, for many, many years, and we got privileges which are interconnected, and such as this honey that I've been able to afford, gratitude, thankfulness, to the farmer who harvested, to those who transported it, because it comes from Watton, which is about two hour drive from me, right? To come to close to one of my marketplace, to the marketplace, to the marketplace, which is close to me, which I where I got it, right? It was about three kilometers from less, maybe one point fifty six kilometers from here, but I marched, I walked. Because I I'm driving steel toe shoes and I'm driving now boots gifted by from my anonymous sister with the best laces ever rainbow laces which i'm selling for a million to raise funds so this is honey this is honey 
and I just privilege of getting honey and work. And thank you to those. December 7th, the government of uh, Quebec deposited to, to a lot of Quebecers a few hundred dollars to fight inflation. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's better than nothing. It's, I was able to, I only bought essentials, <laughs> food, food for the holidays. I got bacon. I still have bacon. Right? I still have bacon. Still have bacon. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna make some bacon tomorrow. Betty, can you please remind me to take out the bacon later or tomorrow morning? Could you please remind me tomorrow morning or later today to take out the bacon from the. Yeah, I got a lot of things to do today as well. No problem. So basically, I was supposed to receive $77.25. Uh, they're going to take half, 50%. I say I always say and have been saying for many weeks, months, and years now that if I ever make a million or a billion or a trillion, I'm going to give half to my anonymous sister whom if I would marry somebody, I'm probably asked her already twice and said no, so... <laughs> I might ask the third time to ever marry some. Although I'm androgynous, pansexual, part of the LGBTQ community will have to be BDSM switch marriage. Man. <laughs> and I'm all, all my, I'm asking in marriage, all my willingly loving allies and armies and get married together. From the dancing goddess and the dragon kingdom, which is my dream for world peace and the public private partnership thereof. So we got half, so I'm gonna get 3863. So I'm grateful for that 3863. I'm gonna only buy essentials. Essentials, and this is gonna be, I'm gonna make a list. So I'm gonna make a cleaning and I'm still cleaning so I'm gonna make an accounting of what I have here I'm gonna write of what I have Of what I have for the new 40 day new 40 day right and what I have what I owe what I own the back of this what I have what I owe what I own and what I will to do is gonna be on the back of this that I just received so as I'm saying that I'm gonna get $38.63 still better than nothing with this I can buy pasta noodles and some even some bacon I'm gonna buy food with all these half they're taking half from my debt so from I was supposed to get $77.25 so half of that is $38.63 so that is what I'm gonna get, but with this money I'm gonna get I'm gonna buy noodles, I'm gonna buy pasta, I'm gonna buy some bacon and some some other things to eat, some fruits or whatever. It's only gonna be food, food, food from January to last me until mid February. Last me until mid February and February. Privileges of civilization. The privilege of civilization has privileges of civilization. What are they? Food can be one. Are you talking to me? Food security. No, I'm I'm 
Um, May I give you something? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm having a lecture. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Oh, that's just perfect. Thanks. Thank you to my anonymous sister for this donation. I was love to eat it. I'm going to have it with... Oh, I know, because I have bread. So I'm going to have lunch. I'm going to have lunch on a very special little lunch. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have bread and I have some mustard. So I'm going to have... I'm going to have lunch after this discussion. I'm going to wrap it in a... Bread. Give me a second. Wrap it in bread. I got bread. Ran on the budget, so I got bread. Thank you to the farmers for this bread. And of course, I got a little bit of uh, of cheese, and I even got a little bit of cheese. And if you stick around until the the end, you're gonna see yours truly eating it with a little piece of cheese so I'll be back in a minute Hey, that's great, Betty. Good for you. I'm gonna vacuum after the, when I'm done. I'm gonna vacuum when I'm done. Gonna vacuum when I'm done. I had tomato. Thank you, farmers who harvested this tomato. So food. Eating is a, is a privilege of civilization. I mean, the eating how we have now. And food security is it's important for me, food security. And having, of course, financially struggling. And I am. I am in debt. But even if it's only half, they took half. I'm still going to get $38.62. So I'm going to buy food with it. I'm going to thank you, farmers. And thank you to my anonymous sister for this little sausage. Little sausage is gonna give me energy to vacuum, take the rugs out, clean the floors. More coffee is gonna give me more energy to continue sending emails for my business, my artistic business. Because I want to bring joy. I want to bring joy if I can make people laugh or give them pleasure somehow. And my whether by art, comedy, or dancing, dancing, dancing. Because for the monthly, I'm the world's greatest. Living Millennial Rainbow Dancing Poet by dancing or by tickling, by kissing or by hugging or by working out, training and exercising. I'm, I'm willing to do it or giving a massage. I still cannot afford a massage therapy session, but of course, But of course, still cannot afford a massage therapy session, but I'm grateful that I can substitute it by a bath, which I do take a bath. I do take baths. <laughs> substitute it. <laughs> There's a comedy a thought of comedic humorous thought which crossed my head, which would be perhaps too politically incorrect to, to say it. Perhaps would offend too many people. And they won't try to. What, what is that thing called? Canceling or whatever. I'm a pro labor universal revolutionary centrist. I'm not perfect. I, tiny feet, tiny hands. I said tiny little. Now that we got that out of the way, we can talk about the privilege of civilization and how we can ensure and secure civilization and the complex of North American civilization, the collective North American civilization in the 21st century. That's why I'm calling on a mass citizen advocacy from Hawk Island, Montreal, coast to coast and across Canada, North America, and of course Mexico, my Mexican brothers and sisters, 
because Mexico is part of North America and beyond Central America, Latin America, and coast to coast, and the world for world peace. Because there's human global civilization, which of course has its discontents and has its discontents. And since 1984, one of my thesis and premise and of course analysis is that due to the re-election of Ronald Reagan, there has been a global corporate type financialized technocratic system which has arisen, a global corporate technocratic financialized system since 1984. The re-election of Ronald Reagan of 1984 uh, has triggered by the policies thereof implemented a sort of a global corporate technocratic financialized system which and now in the 21st century can be balanced by creating the two complementary covenant and cooperative institutions the aforementioned dancing goddess army and the aforementioned dragon army to be for pleasure and purpose and of course the public private partnership which i'm calling all because fundamentally all my theories that i'm calling their implementation the cit citizen integration theory the debt refusion theory the DRT and the democratic fusion theory to be implemented via the fourth dimension. And that fourth dimension is love. Love is also action. It's fundamentally a private and a public partnership. A public and a private partnership. PPP, a public-private partnership on all my colleagues. So the privilege of civilization has privileges interconnected, integrated, multiple privileges within the privilege of civilization as a whole. There's privileges, food security, see? There's bread. Thank you to the farmer who harvested this bread. Kiss your hands, give you a big dragon hugs. Because this bread is gonna contain, contains calories and energy for me to do today, what I wanna do. Because I wanna also see my theories implemented. I wanna see people dancing, people joyous. I wanna heal, I wanna see people healing and loving and loving and loving. And securing North American co collective civilization or the complex of North American civilization and world peace. But I also have a lot of work to do on myself. Clean the floors, take the rugs out, send at least 50 emails today. I think I got about 93 emails total to send, but I got some work to do, some pages, so I have work, so I can give me energy to do what I have to do today. But the bread, the sausage, this tomato thank you the farmer for this tomato and the coffee so we got privileges like food security right food security and that's it's, that is like a fundamental pillar food security is a fundamental pillar I farmed urban farming but not enough to sustain myself for a prolonged period of time but for a short period of time because it was urban farming and the plot lots were small and xyz so it wasn't it wasn't big farming it wasn't the farming which was to feed others as well as we have big farming and small farms thank you small farmers medium farmers and big farmers which has evolved to the second world war for the mega farming the big farming super farming of different institutions and organizations and of course the arising of the fast food industry right it's still food some of it is better than others some of it is okay some of it is so so some of it is good only once in a while some of it is good very rarely i'm not gonna digress and give my analysis on nutrition and food because there's plenty of information plenty but i'm speaking from a general perspective of course there's healthier food not so good food junk food junk food junk food and I indulge in a little bit of junk food and I love sweets, I love candies, I love once in a while and of course XYZ. But I'm speaking generally, the general principle of food security, because everybody gotta eat, even Wall Street. Everybody gotta eat, even Wall Street. Everybody gotta eat, even Wall Street, right? Buying, selling, trading stocks, now futures, options, puts, fighting with inflation, policies, macroeconomics, our favorite hockey players, our favorite football players our favorite basketball players our favorite singers multi minor actors multi minor rappers they also gotta eat <laughs> right we got a privilege so, so we got interconnected privileges within 
the privilege of civilization. There are sub privileges which we have. Ah, so my, if you have a farm, you have a farm, farm, you know, you can provide food for 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 a whole family, for a whole city, for a, for a whole country. No, many of us don't. The majority of us do not. So the majority of us have this privilege of civilization, all of us, because it's interconnected with security, with transformation of elements and material, and housing and transport. But we have the interconnected, of course, the food. The food. Holy, sacred, and divine food. So thank you, love you, kiss you farmers from La Belle Province, Quebec East, in all the villages, make the potatoes, the cheese, the potatoes, the tomatoes, the beans, the lentils, all the food which we, to love somebody, to give somebody pleasure, or to work out, to train, to exercise, to work, to teach, to philosophize, to, whether to teach and do art and, like I'm doing here, I need, of course, the energy and the nutrition to sustain, and we need the food. And we have a big population. Look at Montreal, Hulk Island. It's a metropolis, 2.5 million people just on this island. Second biggest city in Canada, which has now, I think we've reached, what, 40 million people in Canada? Close to 40 now, right? United States, what, 358 million, right? 350 million. The USA, right? North America, we're more than five, we're more than half a billion. We're more than 500 million. Canada, US, Mexico combined. Mexico has more than 100 million people. But Canada, just the city, Montreal, Hawk Island, 2.5 million people. How many farms? So we got this food privilege. Many of us, the majority of us, since I'm speaking that we, we all own the farm. We don't have ownership of the farms and we don't have the, the knowledge or most of the expertise or the experience or the lots of plots of land to plant potatoes, plant tomatoes, plant grain, the pork, the pig farming, the chicken farming, all the farming, all the production and the distribution of food from the black fertile till our bellies and our tables. Right? We have people, including myself, now this is bread. Of course, thank you, the bakers, the bakers, the bakers, thank you, the bakers, the bakers, the bakers, thank you, the bakers, the bakers, the bakers. And, of course, those farmers who grew this tomato, holy sacred divine tomato. Of course, the butchers also did this piece of piece of sausage. So, that's food, holy sacred divine is going to give me some energy to write some emails, maybe get an opportunity to do a dance, do a philosophy, do some comedy, do some humor, do some singing. Singing some of that good rock and roll, right? Or good folk, good rock and roll, some a little bit of rap, gonna rap for the farmers. So we got these privileges within the privilege of civilization. And one of the most important one is this, the food, the things that we eat, the eating, because we gotta eat daily, most of us, right? We can fast, we can, you know, but nonetheless, we, we gotta eat to, to do, whether to, to pray, to dance, to love, to fuck, to art to write to xyz we, we we need food so food privileges most of us have is privilege and i asked somebody maybe you, you have a farm you have a farm you can sustain a, a city of 2.5 million people a country of 40 million people and most of us the bad majority is that the answer is no right myself included i did some urban farming with urbanization a few years and during the past seven years. I have some experience, I have some knowledge which has been successful in terms of the harvest. I've harvested some tomatoes which I planted, harvested some lettuce which I've planted, I've harvested some grains which, I far, which I've planted and harvested. But on the grand macro scale, no, most of us we don't, of course. And there are small farmers who can grow for small villages, for or maybe 156 people to feed them annually. And there's the medium farmers who can feed maybe a few tens of thousands. And then there's big farming who can feed the millions. Right? I mean, 
and these farms, farming systems and production have evolved and have evolved over decades, decades after the Second World War and a lot of it in the 60s, 70s. And of course, we can criticize and go into the GM, the genetically modified organism and why that arose with the population growth. And it's, it's, it's a topic of discussion for sure. And we try to do better as I'm trying to do better and every day, but I'm today now doing on the first 2023 and checking my privileges of the food security farming privilege. I, I'm not a farmer, I don't farm, so I got farming privileges. I am, I got one of the only privileges that I have of this, that I'm eating thanks to somebody else's labor and work. And, and maybe I've read about a farm which was created in 1948 here in La Belle Province, Quebec, a potato farm. I kiss them, kiss them, kiss them, send them big hugs. They're about 44 kilometers from my Hawk Island, Montreal, from my underground Dragon's Lair. And I'm, I've been blessing them. I've contacted them. And they were founded from their early on, their fourth generation. So it was founded after the Second World War in 1948, mostly specializing in potatoes. And they got different potatoes, right? I'm going to refill the cup of coffee. So the potatoes and the honey that I'm adding now, that is a privilege. This is another privilege. <laughs> so I have the privilege both of the coffee and of being able to add some natural raw sweetness to it thanks to the financial incentive and the effort of the program to give a few hundred dollars to a few to a lot of Quebecers such as myself right here in La Belle Province. So that farm in 1948 which was founded by the great grandfather of the person and he passed it and they have family intergenerational family who learn how to do this and do that and plant and they expanded their production. Yes I will lick again. So, we got these privileges, which are one of them are farming. So this farm, expanding the potatoes, some farms of course come from, some products come from USA, Mexico, all over the world, now the interconnected, globalized world of course, but this came from about 44 kilometers away from Hawkeye, Montreal, so not so far. But this specific farming family, Thank you, Levi Kisiogu, was started in 1948. So they have, what, more than 70, about 77 years, 77 years, more or so, 77 years of experience farming, and they've expanded, and their potatoes feed families, so many families, it's a, a medium to big size farming. It's not super big, big corporate, but it's still family-owned, but it's probably bigger than medium. It's not small size anymore. It was probably small size at the beginning, but after they passed it intergenerational. So that is one privilege that we have, another of civilization. First, first, and the primordial principle, most important privilege is, is this farming, the, the food privilege. And then we have others. But this, in the, if we are to set up a sort of a hierarchical system, a top who tops the most, it is, it is the food, the food. Thank you for this cup of coffee. It is the food. Here in Quebec, La Belle Province, Montreal, now after the food, the tomato, I got bread and I got, take it to my anonymous sister, a little piece of a wiener, a wiener, a wiener, which is ready to eat. Right? 
after that it would have to be the electricity and after food actually I will put the housing I will put the housing so food because of part of the dragon army which I'm calling all citizens to create as a public private partnership all security institutions of Canada Quebec North America right I'm calling of course in the SQ so that's Quebec the RCMP of course the Public Security Force, the SPVM, and all the security forces, and CSIS, CSIS, and FBI, CIA, and of course, Canadian Armed Forces, and the United States Armed Forces, and support public-private partnership, and all, not only institutions and organizations of public security, of public security, of public security, but of private as well, and corporations to be a public-private partnership, based on my philosophies, the Dragon Army, which have been calling for, especially by seeing that COVID and Furthermore, the Russia-Ukraine crisis has further seen that my theories and my geopolitical analysis back in 2019 have proven to be in parallel. And many things have concordantly happened and occurred and manifest, such as I've, of course, not, would not say speculate, but such as I've foresaw in many ways, based on already the trends and seeing the trends where they were going. And of course, seeing the geopolitical matters from a macro perspective. And so that's why during COVID I began and advocating openly in the public for the implementation of my theories, Trinity of Theories, the CIT, Citizen Integration Theory, the DRT, Debt Refusion Theory, and the Democratic Fusion Theory. That Trinity of Theories, especially the Debt Refusion Theory, to be implemented via LOV. The Debt Refusion Theory is basically, which I've said before, and I will continue to say in the coming days, weeks, and months ahead, to take all private and public debt, refuse it, whatever the number is, to create what I call the UE. The UE stands for Universal Exchange Unit. That's why I'm also calling on all, of course, the fintech, what's called fintech, fintech in finance, and, of course, uh, the payment system operators and the banks and the financial institutions from BlackRock, Mr. Fink, from BlackRock, Mr. Fink, and, of course, to, to all the other financial institutions, which are, of course, local, national, international banks, my bank, Royal Bank of Canada, of which I am $10,000 in debt, and other banks, CIBC and Mon Bank of Montreal, of course, the Federal Reserve and all banks of, for example, NATO member countries and NORAD, North America and beyond. So pass the food, which is the primordial in the hierarchy of the food, to put the privileges of civilization, of which, of course, my call is the Dragon Army to secure freedom of civilization, which is a double-edged sword, which I admit by my soul is a sword of freedom is kind of too heavy to lift by my solo, I admit it. With your help, live the sword of freedom to get a secure and ensure freedom. And perhaps if my anonymous sister helps, on second thought, she can lift it by herself. <laughs> we can maybe secure freedom and ensure and, and of towards better days in this 2023 by the implementation of my theories CIT, Citizen Integration Theory, DRT, Debt Refusion Theory, and Democratic Fusion Theory. So that Trinity of theories, the CIT, Citizen Integration Theory, the DRT, Debt Refusion Theory, to be integrated by the fourth dimension, and the fourth dimension is LOV, love. Love is also action. So the privilege of civilization has privileges, and in the hierarchy, if we are to put a hierarchy, the top most privilege of civilization of the multiple, many, plural privileges of the civilization of which we have the privilege of civilization and has the sub privileges at the first top or the top top would be food food security because most of us do not farm in anymore right most of us were detached or even alienated that's why the citizen integration theory will fight alienation and will integrate across the levels most of us were course not know a lot about farming or we have different specialization which is good and great and excellent but since 1984 has created a lot of alienation and I believe my citizen integration theory and the two complementary covenant and cooperative institutions based on my principles of a public and a private partnership to be integrated and to have volunteering and to have visits to the farms to the Everything that's being done a part of civilization, whether education, farming, mining, and electricity, the dams here in Quebec. So the first one would be food. Then the second one will be, of course, housing, 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 right? 
Like me. I got some brain and some muscles. I'm the people's athlete. But I live here in this underground, literally, underground room of some temple. So I know a little bit about construction. I did a little bit of X. I did a little bit of that. I've learned. Of course, I'm not certified uh, officially in construction, but I know a little bit about it by interest. I, by citizen integration theory in the Dragon Army, we can have citizens go see somebody who's never did in construction. We can have on the field day to go see with somebody who they're involved in construction. And yeah, show us, uh, tell us a little bit how you do this, how you put the bricks, how you put the layers, how you put, you know, a little bit of a explanation to be on the field and how security works a little bit of a doesn't have to be an in-depth but it can be a little bit of a more general and then to be wow to see how well now i know a little bit more about this apartment building this condo which i've purchased with a mortgage i purchased my house mortgages have been up i'm, I'm paying actually to the bank of canada seven 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 hikes in 2022. Never unprecedented hikes so hikes due to the hikes because if you understand finance a bit, all of course the hikes are affecting more a lot of mortgages, flexible mortgages. So unfortunately, there's kind of trash that a lot of people. My question is to a lot because from what I hear on the news, in 2023 are a lot of Canadians at risk of losing their homes. Another unprecedented thing in Canada is that for two years foreign so non-canadian citizens are banned from purchasing homes so that's unprecedented so we have unprecedented economic financial commercial and political social political geopolitical events unfolding i do believe in my trinity of theories the cit the implementation of my trinity of theories without any doubt for the 21st century while i have a lot of other issues and doubts and sometimes still get moody crave a massage therapy but i'm grateful that i can substitute it by a bath and other such issues, things I don't know. I know a little bit about this. I got some brain and some muscle, but I do firmly believe in my, my Trinity of theories, CIT citizen integration theory, debt refusion theory, a lot. And DRT, the debt refusion theory, and the democratic fusion theory, the DFT, the democratic fusion theory via LOV and to create the two complementary covenant and cooperative institutions of the Dragon Army officially to be called the International Integr Citizen Integrated Social Security and Service Force, aka the Dragon Army, with the International Integrated Dance League, aka the Dancing Goddess Army, to be for pleasure and purpose, and of course, for security and service, the Dragon Army, to integrate it and absorbing all existing public and private institutions and organizations. So the DRT, Debt Refusion to be taking all private and public debt, refusing it my debt is ten thousand dollars to the rbc of which i've just mentioned that due to the seven hikes seven times that the bank of canada unprecedented since more than 40 years with during with inflation highest in more than 40 years right unprecedented in a year bank of canada to hike it so many times seven times in december was the last one and of course due to it i'm paying the most interest that i ever paid on my loan so i'm ten thousand dollars in debt to pay interest services because the debt itself is not necessarily can be a bad or negative thing is the amount of interest and if that interest goes up as it has with a lot of mortgages credit lines and of course credit cards right due to the bank of canada which the central bank operates the macro level and then at the micro level the loans the mortgages the lines of credit which exist the student loans can go a lot of them have went up being that citizens such as myself even myself included we pay more to service the debt in other words we pay more interest on the money so that is the problem fundamentally interest my setup after we do of course the debt refusion theory the drt implement the drt debt refusion theory is that we set a limit on all loans a maximum by principle so that after that we have the drt implemented we have the reset and we have of course the creation of the ue the ue stands for universal exchange unit and of course we implement the drt and create the ue as a public private partnership and based on the us dollar since the united states dollar is still the currency of choice in international finance global commerce and world trade and create the ue the ue the ue ue stands for universal exchange unit preferably by biometrics the hand of voice and the eye unique biometric identifier that's why i'm calling on my astrological brother bill gates from microsoft 
of course Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook and others of course to support it from from Elon Musk to work on this on all as a pro-labor universal revolutionary centrist and to create of course this public-private partnership and the creation of the EU and all institutions and organizations to support the creation of the universal exchange unit and the dragon army to be for service and security services with consent and hygiene mutual understanding and love whatever services can be offered and given such as cleaning cooking helping with the children reading to the children doing workout training exercising uh, giving like 15 20 minute neck rub or massage to a trucker because he's going to drive 11 hours from coast to coast or from usa to canada or vice versa and he cannot afford a massage or blah 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 or services with consent and hygiene West, North, South. So that is my call based on the philosophical philosophies, such as the body is a temple for pleasure and purpose. So X, Y, Z factors to encourage people to work out, to train, and to exercise, and for public hygiene. At this moment, please increase in public hygiene. Public hygiene. Wash your hands. See, this is a hand sanitizer disinfectant. Right. This one is about to end. I still have a little bit left. Maybe for three more, but my anonymous sister gave me a great gift for New Year's, gave me a brand new one. So when I go inside, because when I go outside, right now I'm in my underground, literally underground room off some temple. If I step outside, I'm no longer just a private citizen here, philosopher, artist, activist. When I step outside, I am, there's an added dimension and that dimension is the public dimension with added responsibilities duties and obligation right here now i can shut everything off get naked and start naked on madonna's music on techno music or on soundtrack music or celine dion music or whatever takashi 69 music if i if i so choose my price for an hour of naked dancing is a million to pay all my debt and give my sister half of that million and finance the my dream for world peace which is the dancing goddess and the dragon kingdom blah 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 so right here in this underground room office and temple i am private like i said i can turn everything off and do xyz watch some pornography but for the past months weeks and months even more than a year now i've set a limit on my Consumption of adult movies is they said only during the Sabbath, which begins Friday at midnight and lasts until Sunday. So I've said that rules, regulation, and discipline to only do that rules, discipline, and regulation, and I've stuck by it in the past months. And even in the past, actually, three, three last three Sabbaths, I've even not watched any at all. So there's room for it. There's XYZ where we got a channel and sublimate. Two keywords of my philosophies is channeling and sublimating not repressing because repressing will probably make a sick ill and disease you know and being androgynous pansexual sexuality is also holy sacred and divine and we gotta channel it and sublimate it yep yeah. i know something don't need to spy on me uh pegasus 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 cia fbi csis rcmp 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 stasi 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 stasi's are gone after 1989 or F FSB, uh, Mossad, 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 MI6, MI6, MI6. I like a little bit of um, androgynous pansexual. I like BDSM switch, BDSM switch, BDSM switch. So <laughs> now you know. <laughs> now you know. It's, uh, people got XYZ things to, 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 to do that. Whatever. <laughs> um, what is it? Blackmailing and uh, blackmailing, uh, blackmailing. Uh, Leader of the free world, and Mr. Jen Stolberg, Secretary of NATO General, please say uh, to the NATO troops that you love them <laughs> so that I can more hope. Say, NATO troops, <laughs> love you. <laughs> the main message is hug like you never hugged before today with consent. So, the privilege of civilization the first is the food, the second would be the housing, right? The shelter, which was built. And what complexities of we have now we have smart homes, smart houses. And my imagination is connecting with the parallel self who's the parallel self in the parallel lives in future timeline is a scientist, super scientist, a hybrid, like I've said, of my astrological brother Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and Elon Musk with a fourth dimension Alistair Crowley's poetry. And I build in that parallel life satellites, supercomputers, ICBM rockets and 
microchips and 3G, 4G, 5G. I'm already in the sixth and seventh G generations smartphones now. So connected with a parallel self, I imagine a smart, smart home, a dragon smart home. If I would have a radio on TV and radio, I would of course use the word LOV a lot, workout train, do some push-ups for world peace, do some dancing, do some squats, and public hygiene, wash your hands with soap and water, and gives yourselves a good 20-minute hug, like one full period of hockey, we're going to play NHL tonight, they got even more privileges, because they're multi millionaires NBA players, right, NBA is actually the most, in terms of economic, financial, commercial privilege, financial privilege, the NBA as a whole, and in different individuals, no, I'm not counting the soccer in the, in, in Europe, because they also have salaries of sometimes 20, even $30 million a year. But the NBA as a whole is the one whose average salaries is the most average salaries. NBA, National Basketball Association, basketball. I love basketball. The game, I'm too short to play. It's tiny hand. Blah, blah. I dance better than I can dance. You're going to let me dance on the NBA the dancing goddess army or not? That's a question to the NBA for world peace. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, the NBA National Basketball Association is the most privileged in terms of finance. They got 7.7 7 million annual salaries. Wow. My brother's athletes were multi-millionaires. Yours to be the people's athlete, doing push-up for the farmers, truckers, butchers, bakers, nurses, doctors, grocery store clerks. Please. And I'm a bit disappointed, I said, I was expecting during the tough economic, financial, commercial holidays, which were just when I was expecting, I said, oh, I said, so hopeful, I said, wow, I'm going to see multi-millionaires and multi-billionaires, I'm going to see the NBA, National Basketball Association, the NHL, National Hockey League, the NFL, National Football League, the MLB, and other artists who are multi-millionaire rappers who got their tens of thousands of millions and actors, I'm going to see, oh, they're probably going to give so much. We're going to hear good news that they're giving a lot to children, to toys and sweets. And, and I haven't heard much. I was expecting to see, oh, unprecedented economic, financial, worst economic, financial, commercial times in more than 40 years. And I said, ah, well, they're going to do, well, I'm also going to hear about those who are financially privileged in our society to also do the most charity. And I'm a bit disappointed. I said, I haven't heard big news about multi millionaires and billionaires. Quite the contrary. I've heard that they're, of course, Bonuses that went up for financiers and bankers, and of course the uh, <laughs> the and the, um, the athletes' salaries have increased in big proportions by more millions every year, and of course the the uh, CEOs of different corporations have increased some some by even more than thirty percent during COVID went from 11 million average to now of like 14, I've just read last night, to 14 something million average salary per year, annual year of CEO. So while at the same time, the rest of the work, such as the grocery store, the cleaning, whatever, X, Y, Z, other factors have, have been remaining stagnant. So I'm a bit disappointed. I haven't heard like, the leagues and the, all the athletes that have their financial privileges and uh, that have been doing in mass. Hey, we're going to, Nothing we're going to give to the children for the holidays. We're going to mass finance and um, toys and gifts. And I haven't, I haven't heard that much. Like I, there is this and there, of course. But overall, uh, I'm a bit disappointed with that. But carpe diem it today. I'm doing this. So <sighs> today, carpe diem. So today, I'm grateful. So the second privilege of civilization, which part of the privileges, multiplicity integrated, of course, integrated privileges within the privilege of civilization, which we share in common, not just Quebecers, Canadians, North Americans, but many across the world, right? Across Africa, Europe, the Middle East, India, China, Japan. We have a human civilization, a global civilization with many common denominators and common aspirations. Right, and common aspirations. So we have those bridges, and the top is the food, right? It's even the athletes tonight, basketball players, NBA players, dribble. I love the sport. You know, I love sports. I encourage people to do sports, be physically active. I have done for years, years and years, not just during COVID, but I started even my fitness journey before COVID. I'm, of course, 
calling and have been and will call for a mass financing of people to work out to train to exercise blah 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 and of course i will work out and have live stream open source hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of my own workout videos on facebook and youtube and of course on youtube my i'm working with the quality that i have but nonetheless it is more the content than the quality of the video necessarily is i'm live streaming on facebook it's a bit better quality but xyz i don't have a gopro or blah 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 blah, blah. keep on keep on rocking in the free world man <laughs> and uh the second pivot would have to be housing so housing you can imagine of course the complex we have right next to me there's big 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 like what 25 story residential buildings Big, big, big. There are more than a thousand people probably live there in a few thousand just in that complex. Huge complex. So I live in underground, room of some temple. This is, when I say room of some temple, it's just this small dragon's lair. It's not four different rooms. It's the same room. Which my room serves as an office. I'm going to send emails later as a temple, meditation, spirituality, and as a gymnasium. So it's four in one. <laughs> four dimension to this space. Which I'm grateful to have, I'm grateful that my rent is paid. But I have the privilege because I have not helped my own hands to build this. Right? I have not laid a brick here. I did a little bit of work here and there, cleaning, doing the snow removal, doing some cleaning on the side, doing some XYZ, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. I still have to do much more. I can do much more. I can increase in doing it in 2023. So now mold prevention, mold prevention, mold prevention, and the maintenance of civilization is important. So it would have to be the housing the se on the second, right? The house. So the food housing, yeah? Then it could be things like the transport as well. It could be things like the electricity. Right, the electricity. I say, my brothers and sisters, thank you. I credit the workers of Quebec, Hydro-Quebec, from the, pa the past the present and the future i credit so that we built seven more dams in the next seven years so i think the one is about to open 2023 la romaine la romaine la romaine the 64th one so we got 63 dams across this belt province a lot of them in the north in the bay james which since 1944 so they were built these 63 in more than 77 years some of them were built in the 40s in the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and even now we're about, we opened in 2016 another one, 2017, 2018, and we're about to open another one, the 64th one. And those 63 dams, some of them give me energy to heat my coffee this morning, to take my shower, and now this I'm using clean zero pollution energy. So this is also a privilege of civilization because I have not built any of those dams. <laughs> I meditated on their building and I'm offering, since I like to offer more than blah, 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 the work as a hydro Quebec of past, present, and future. I'm offering them good hugs, good energy, good vibe. I'm offering, say, no, I don't want your hugs. You can say no to ev everything that's offered. You can turn down and say, no, yes, maybe later. <laughs> no, yes, maybe later. No, yes, maybe later. So I got this energy and all the poles which connect the systems with steel and concrete and the uh, wires that connect all the energy that's not just for Quebec La Belle Province but also for five, I think six, six, six states now in the US and soon more than 30% of New York in Manhattan from clean zero pollution zero energy from Hydro Quebec is going to go all the way to New York City in Manhattan by energy is going to connect because we have a North American integrated corridor grid, right? So we have this across North America. That's why my call is first and foremost, as I am a Quebecer, I am a Canadian, I'm a North American. Right? Somebody asks, what are you? I'm a Quebecer, Canadian, North American. Many past lives, many incarnation. I'm here on this Hawk Island, Montreal. As a Quebecer, North American, as an American in past lives, just read George Patton's poetry, X, blah, 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 blah. But I am first and foremost a philosopher, a geopolitical analyst and theorist of North America, of the complex North American civilization. But these privileges of civilization under the umbrella, the privilege of civilization, of which myself a citizen of Quebec, Canada, and a citizen of the complex North American civilization, of the collective North American civilization that we have such as this, and these can also be, are in many ways universal. 
right? The food, whether it's in, in other civilizations, in the European Union, for example, European civilization, North American civilization, which is the newest, right? The complex of North American civilization is the new, because my theory, the collective North American civilization is, and I firmly believe it, that we North Americans started becoming a civilization and those, of course, who immigrated, who came, more all of us who came in the past, right? But we have a collective civilization here in North America. We have a culture and we made a compromise here in Quebec, La Belle Province. There's millions and millions and millions of my fellow Quebecers, which myself included. I love speaking the French language. A few decades ago, a few decades <laughs> A few decades ago, we made this compromise, and this compromise was with the French language. We made this compromise with the French language, this bilingual sort of compromise. I learned a little bit of Spanish myself. I love Spanish. I'm speaking Mexico, my Mexican brothers and sisters, because Mexico I include in the complex North American civilization. Right? But if we are to contrast the languages spoken in the complex North American civilization, in the collective North American civilization, they are, of course, less than in Europe, for example, and the European Union has adopted a few decades ago the euro, common currency. That's why my currency that I'm calling via debt refusion to you, the UE, the UE, the UE, the Universal Exchange Unit, to be, of course, created by my DRT, first and foremost, for the complex North American civilization, for the collective North American yeah. civilization. So it's going to be food, it's going to be housing, transport, the electricity, and of course, things such as this internet. And it's connected via Wi-Fi, connected with other computers, all the applications, the software and the hardware, software in the little Facebook application in my smartphone, the hardware in the smartphone, connected with the wireless router, and of course me as a philosopher, geopolitical analyst and theorist and of course the laptop which of course has hardware and software which I'm going to put it on YouTube which has servers, servers, servers and Facebook as it has servers and the people, the citizens, the engineers who helped it build it all the engineers who built it throughout the decades right the internet dates Back to DARPA, ARPA, ARPA, DARPA, DARPA, ARPA. <laughs> right? Dates in the 60s and even in some theoretical works such as satellites, satellites, satellites of of a one of my favorite sci-fi writers, Arthur C. Clarke. Arthur C. Clarke, Arthur C. Clarke, one of my favorite authors and writers. Ah. <sighs> One of my favorite authors and writers, Artis C. Clark, among with other writers, but nonetheless. So now I'm giving in oral form dictation my thesis, my theory, another theory with other theories, and which I believe in, because if I give a theory, I usually believe in it with passion and fervor and intellect and wisdom, understanding and knowledge, and I do believe it. The privilege of civilization of which, in the privilege of civilization which we share, Quebecer, Canadians, North Americans, and citizens of the world, there are privileges such as food, which now you're going to see me finishing and eating. It's food. I'm going to eat. 
but first I need to do some hygiene before I eat it. I'm gonna need to go wash my hands. So you know that I'm gonna eat a piece of bread. Thank you, bakers, farmers, a piece of tomato. Thank you, farmers, and a piece of sausage. Thank you, my anonymous sister who gifted it to me, and thank you, the butchers and the bakers who have, of course, did it to transport. And thank you for that. And we move forward from today, Carpe Diem. A vacuum, so this food is gonna give me energy to vacuum, to take out the, to take out the rugs, to shake them, and to send emails, cause I'm, I missed my deadline last Friday, so I got all these pages of different PMA, PMS, and public medium enterprises, corporations to send emails to, such as this one, which of course are also do whatever work they do, um, whether of a artistic, intellectual, artistic, cosmopolitan nature or whatever, whatever it is that being done as I am willing of course especially with my allies and armies to do a lot to do a lot to do a lot I also find some joy in doing some joy in doing while I also find some joy in being so those three for now and the next part two is going to be continuing on the privilege of civilization which has its privileges such as food since most of us do not farm and um, most of us have this privilege of food security and to, to, to eat all the things we eat because we do not farm especially in big city 2.5 million people so we have food privileges we have housing we have them build the house right? we have them build the apartments so we have those interconnected integrated privileges they are interconnected and integrated so those are the main words to remember in the privilege of civilization how we're all because then this has of course the evolutionary over decades and decades of decades of different people and citizens who worked and did XYZ work the less such as building the dams 63 dams across this province of Quebec built with brains and muscle of tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of millions of Quebecers right? or in, and then connecting with all the lines so that I can heat I can do laundry I can have this coffee I can do this video and post it online and be open to more business for pleasure or purpose which i'm open to and to do everything that we do whether working out training working cutting bread preparing food cleaning 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 or loving 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 or doing art or they have these privileges and of course food housing and just things such as electricity and then the high-tech things that we have or whatever else we have the applications the software and the hardware <laughs> right first and foremost it is food so with that brothers and sisters please increase in hygiene in public please increase in hygiene in public please increase in hygiene in public I encourage all to work out train exercise working out training and exercising maybe you're gonna see me live stream later workout working out training and exercising has been is and will continue to be my medicine and therapy of choice as I believe it is for many have been and will continue to advocate as the people's athlete for the mass financing thereof of people to work out to train and to exercise as it is a my medicine and therapy of choice have been and will call for the mass financing thereof and of course in the next lecture we're going to touch on different privileges and the more inter integrated and interconnected and those who have privileges such as my brothers and sisters in the nba national basketball association they have from a financial perspective right i've been blessed to play a sport or the nhl national hockey league and the nfl to be multi and actors getting 30 million dollars for a movie or artists or to sing to get all the economic financial commercial privileges but they also have to eat so we we have interconnected integrated privilege so this has been the first part It's going to be a three-part series maybe this tomorrow or in another day this week or next week or during this month of january this is of course the, i'm beginning with the privilege of civilization which i call for uh, furthering the maintenance and the upgrade as we for upgrading civilization for me is of course to attain harmony between nature and civilization that is for me upgrading the civilization is to attain harmony between nature and civilization and via the dancing goddess army or also known as the international integrated dance league 
and that is my call to all willingly loving and this has to come from love lov love is action not just blah blah, blah. and we got work to do i got work to do here in my room of some temple and if you want to support and uh, that house has been left decrepit for seven years in Westmount between Westmount 57 the Belvedere and 53 the Belvedere has been left decrepit for more than seven years and with LOV and those trillions of kisses because kisses God if you want to go support it to have it painted rainbow red and green and black and white and white and black those pillars one by one we can there have open house because in my underground little underground room I've seen temples cannot have much open house due to space requirements but of course on Mount Royal Mount Royal the headquarters of the dancing goddess and the dragon kingdom Support the dream, support the dream agent, Hana Dragon and Drajan's pansexual founder, founding the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Kingdom. First and foremost, with 718 trains of kisses. This has been part one with yours truly, philosopher, athlete, activist, geopolitical analyst, and theorist, geopolitician, independent, psychological analyst, and theorist, and activist, the world's greatest living dancing millennial poet. Part one of the privilege of civilization of which they are interconnected and integrated privileges such as food, housing, transport, and the electricity. And we're going to post it. Facebook Live next. Never delete. Never delete, never delete, never delete. Post now.